let's talk about the second pillar. And the second pillar is the Feynman technique. Now, the Feynman technique is named after Richard Feynman, a famous Nobel Prize winning physicist who was renowned not only for being extremely smart, but also for his ability to explain things to beginners very well. And this pillar is important because throughout the rest of the course, we want to keep this in the back of our mind. You see, the Feynman technique says that if you want to really understand something well, to really know a topic, you need to be able to teach it. Explaining something in a simple to understand way is the best way to actually learn, but also to test your knowledge. A good way that I like to think about this is speaking with a young child. When you're talking to a child, you get asked the question, why all the time? Why do birds fly? Why do they have wings? You keep coming up with the answer and the child always goes, but why? And the Feynman technique is all about bringing down a concept to its basic level. To understand a concept or a topic, you need to be able to explain it to a child in simple terms. Often in our world, especially when you go to work or in a business setting, we try to use big words to sound knowledgeable. And these big words or jargon allow us to hide behind perhaps some uncertainty that we have. When we stop speaking with jargon, with difficult business speak or big words, when we speak in simple terms to others, it actually frees us from hiding behind knowledge that we pretend to have. For example, if I was a programmer, I might speak in a way to my managers to sound like I'm smart, to use complex terms that I know they don't understand just to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. The Feynman technique actually goes against this. The idea is to become a good learner, to understand a topic. You want to be able to explain it in simple terms. And when you start realizing that explaining things in simple terms actually makes you a better learner, we shift our focus from trying to hide our knowledge from others to showing others how much we know. So moving forward, as we're developing our skill to learning, see if you can test yourself. See if you can explain a topic that you're learning to somebody with zero knowledge. If you can't, go back to the drawing board and figure out what you are missing in your knowledge to be able to explain to a child.